Hey folks, welcome back to the video tutorials and, and we're going to actually move along to some of the more advanced uh, tutorials basically geared towards designers and developers wanting to modify the site, uh, the, the graphics, the artwork, that sort of a thing. You can do it in bits and pieces. If you have Photoshop or some sort of graphic editor, you can do all sorts of wonderful things with the different uh, source artwork that actually comes in the template. But let's just jump into the site here and take a look at what we want to change. Let's just go to our site. Let's preview the index page here. And here we go. We're talking about the nav bar. Now the nav bar is usually, usually located at the very top of the page. Could be fixed or anchored. Uh, fixed meaning it stays at the top. Anchored means it goes with the, um, the, the flow of the content. But what we see here is a bar that runs across the page. It has a background image in this case. As you can see by the stripes, we cannot get that effect through CSS alone, so we use a background image. And all we need to do is replace that background image, or what you need to do is re replace that background image with your own. So I'm just going to give you a few details on how to do that, and then you can go from there if you want to modify this for your own site. So jumping back to our editor, in the site graphics folder, we, this is where all the graphics for the images uh, that, that create your product are, are made up of. We have a menu top BG image. So let's just uh, create a blank page here. I'm just going to throw it onto a blank page so we can have a look at it. There it is right there. The properties for this image would be it's 1680 pixels wide by 43. You can pretty much use whatever you want. It's a repeating image. Um, we've set it at 1680 simply because of the stripes and whatnot. And if you want to use some sort of a pattern, the bigger the image, the better. But long story short, to replace the image, you can actually just open this menu top PNG in your favorite graphic editor, and then apply your own sort of styles or create your own sort of a, a look to it. To actually replace it, we go back into the site folder, styles folder, and we're going to open up the styles.css. And right here at the top, conveniently, is the nav bar, and there's the background right there navbar background image. So this loads in a background image for the navbar. If you wanted to get rid of the background image and just use a solid color, by all means, just a little CSS knowledge can be dangerous, so let's give it a try. Let's get rid of the URL, this entire thing here, and just replace it with a color. We use the pound sign, and then we'll do a FF, and then a 1, 2, 3, 4 for a nice red color. Let's just see how that works. We'll uh, switch over to our browser, and I've already refreshed it to test it out to make sure, but that's that's it. Now we've got a solid color here uh, instead of the image, so you can definitely use CSS if you want to. Um, as far as height and width and all that sort of a thing go, it's pretty much the padding that we've applied, the borders and whatnot, uh, to the fonts for the um, that are actually used in the page. Right here, you see that? So I just wanted to jump back to our page. So we actually haven't applied a specific height to the bar. What happens is the text here, we've added a padding top and bottom, and the size of the font plus the padding top and bottom are, is basically what decides the uh, height of the menu bar here. So by changing the font and the padding for the font, that's how you change the size or the height of the, uh, of the nav bar up top. Now there's something else you can do. You can actually change it from a fixed to the top of the page and you can have it uh, anchored or float with your page. Now to do that, it's a little bit different because you actually change that in the page itself. It's not through the style sheet. Because we're using a native bootstrap nav bar. And to do that, or to use that native nav bar, there's actually a, a tag in the page itself that you're going to modify. So I'm just going to open this up right here. And you see this div class of navbar? Navbar fix top. That's what tells it to stay at the top of the page. If you were to delete that right there, now that navbar becomes uh, something that's going to float with the page. Now, how do you get rid of that across the entire site? I'm going to show you a little trick. All right? What we're going to do is we're going to select this entire div tag and we're going to use the good old fashioned find and replace. We're just going to copy this or highlight it, I mean. Press Control H on our keyboard to open up the find and replace. We copy this bit of information into the replace with window. And what we're going to do is then remove the nav bar fixed top like so and just have it as nav bar. Select all pages, find in source code, replace all. I'm not going to do it because then I'd have to uh, go back and manually put it back in, which would mess up some of the 
future videos I'll be creating here, but that's all you have to do. Use the find and replace to find the div class of navbar, navbar fixed top, and replace it with something simple like that. Just by pulling out the navbar fixed top class and replacing them all on your page.